Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and here I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a small update video in regards to the Xbox One and Xbox Series related kernel exploit that was announced and that we do have a proof concept script for. I have made a couple videos about this, one of them being mod chat where I went more into it, and another one being a video where I end up showing you all if you got your console set up how you can go through and use the proof of concept script to test and make sure that your console was working. I'd also said pretty heavily in the first video that you do want to set up your console quickly and try to take it offline as soon as possible. That was in the episode of Mod Chat. Reason being is that I mainly said this could be patched pretty quickly. And while as there was a firmware update that did go live, I believe on June 12th for the Xbox consoles, it did not patch the vulnerability. However, it is safe to say now that unfortunately it is patched because, well, this application here, GameScript, the one that I'm highlighting, is no longer available. You could try to look for it on your console, you can try to look for it on the Microsoft Store, but it does show as product not found. So unfortunately, if you are watching this video here, it is too late because even though the exploit has not been patched in the firmware itself, it does require you to go download this application, install it, and have the license for it. So if you can't download the application, unfortunately, you no longer have an entry point for this. However, I did mention something about a license, and that is something important. I did end up initially seeing this from Durf Jagged and also saw some other reports, but here Durf says, do not sign in online if you have the game script app, it will break the app. And from what I'm understanding, much like we've seen with retail homebrew apps before, before they were really completely killed off, if you have the game script app installed on your console you have the license for it but you do have your console connected online unfortunately the license is being revoked for this app meaning that even though you might be on an exploitable firmware you have game script already downloaded the app is no longer available and the app is broken locally on your system so unfortunately that means that your system has effectively been patched that's again why I was particular about saying if you are wanting to try this out, have some fun with it, you are going to want to take your system offline as soon as you can. Get it on the proper firmware update, get the applications that you do need, make sure your console is set to home, download any other games or applications you might be interested in, and then take the console offline as soon as you can. So again, that's all to say, if you're on a vulnerable firmware, but you have the game script app locally installed and you are online right now, unfortunately that app has effectively been bricked. However, if you do have a console like this one here that has been set up and taken offline, thankfully the game script app is still working. So really the next steps for you are going to be one, stay offline, just stay put where you're at, and two, just essentially wait for further instructions. I had said before, but if you are wanting to get some more updates on this straight from the people who have been working on it, one of the best people to follow would be Emma or Carrot Cake on Twitter, and I will have their Twitter linked down below in the description. However, there is something else to this as well too. Now, information on this is very limited, and from what I'm seeing, that has been done on purpose, which I totally get that. However, as I understand, the kernel exploit we have been highlighting is related to system OS. However, it is also limited to that. But Emma had tweeted this here saying for people interested in using the technique described in this blog post, I was told to relay the following. Saying here, basically, Warhammer Vermintide 2, any addition, digital or disc-based, Darktide might also work, but is series exclusive. So what is that saying here? Well, the blog post that she is highlighting is this one in particular, which is called Durango Dumplings, which I had talked about a little bit before, but in short, this will be a method you can use to dump games from a retail system. So we have something for system OS, which is what GameScript is going to be for. However, if you are wanting to dump games, you do need something related to game OS, which it seems like we're going to be needing, in short, an exploit game. Now, it has been mentioned that this is the game here, Warhammer Vermintide 2 and a disc or digital version. So I'll say this again, if you are watching this right now, you can still pick up Warhammer on digital. Unfortunately, it'll probably be a little too late to do anything with. So if you already have it downloaded and installed, 
you'll be able to at least run it here and hopefully be able to use something for this in the future. We don't know any other details about this right now, we just know that this game could be used for something. However, that's all to say, this is one of those games that was also released physically as well too. So if you have a Xbox One with a disc drive or you have a Xbox Series X, then you could make use of the disc-based version of this title. And like that tweet ended up saying as well too, Darktide might also work, but that is a series exclusive. So if you're wanting the more universal game, so to speak, I guess Vermintide 2 would be the optimal one, but if you have a series console and all you can get is Darktide, that might work. That's what we know so far in terms of a exploit game, which I was certainly not expecting to see. And as a final piece of advice that some were advising as well too, if you want to, you can go into general, go to your network settings, and within these network settings, there is an option. I'm not going to go online here, but there is an option to forget your wireless network. So that could also give you some extra protection as well too, to forget your wireless network, set your DNS to 127.0.0.1, and then go offline to kind of keep your console in a safe offline only mode. Either way, that is about it for this video here. If this video helped out, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. But as I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.